If you want to be more flexible with variance charts, I'll show you a nice little trick in this video. Let's assume that we want to compare your sales figures to other measures. A typical example would be budget and forecast. Of course, it's not useful to compare sales to both measures at the same time. But we can add a measure input control to switch between those measures. Go to add measures and scroll down until you can find create measure input control. Click on it and then select the measures you want for a comparison. I take budget and forecast. Now we already see the budget as orange bars, but that's not what we want. So we delete the input control from our measures. Let's go to the variance and edit it. As measure A, we leave sales and as measure B, we now select our new measure input control. Since we don't need the time filter anymore, we can delete it and now we have the variance between sales and budget. If our users then wish to compare sales to forecast instead of budget, they can easily switch between them. With a little imagination, I'm sure you can find many new opportunities with the combination of measure input controls and variances. If you want to learn all details in building highly effective dashboards, then please check out my SAC Masterclass on Udemy. Follow the link in the description and thanks for watching this video.